Welcome to another Learn About Xero video. This one's a bit different. I'm taking a look at the prototype for Xero's new reimagined dashboard. It's in beta testing and Xero is gathering feedback, so some things may change when it's released. We'll take a look together and I'll give you my first impressions. So here it is. There's a message to say it's a prototype and what you see depends on what's in your plan. For example, if you use Xero Projects, you'll see the Projects tab. I'll start with the menus along the top. Here's the Organization menu. It looks very similar. You can search for other Xero organizations you may have. And if you're a Xero advisor, there's access to practice tools. And you can open up files and organization settings. So I don't see much difference here. I do quite like the rounded edges when you hover over the menu buttons. That's quite a nice touch. The sales menu has all the things you'd expect. And there's access to online payments, payment links and progress payments. That looks interesting. Because this is an early prototype, these options aren't clickable, but I'm looking forward to seeing where progress payments takes you. And I love that there's access to your sales settings from this menu. That makes a lot of sense and it will save you a bit of time as well. Purchases. Again, there's a link to open purchase settings. Nice. Reporting. Oh, this looks interesting. In addition to what you already have, there's a link to reporting settings and to some powerful analytics and data visualization tools. Xero purchased SIFT Analytics a while back, so we'll be able to use some of those powerful reporting features. If you have payroll, you'll see a payroll menu. This is a US organization, and in the US, Xero Payroll is powered by Gusto. The accounting menu looks similar, but there's quick access to bank rules, which is handy, uh, as well as settings. Tax, as you can see, these are options for US. Contacts menu looks straightforward. And projects, if you have that. So it looks like with these menus, you're not losing anything. There are a few more options to access important areas quickly. I really like that each menu has its own link to settings as well. I think that's a really nice little feature. The plus button looks similar. This is where you can create new transactions, contacts, and payment links. And what's this? Ah, it, it's Jax or Just Ask Zero. This is Zero's AI tool for getting quick answers about your business. Ask it questions like, how much money am I owed? And it will quickly give you an answer. Search, it's the same. Search for transactions or contacts. These three dots, this is where you can open Xero's Help Center, see notifications and access the Xero App Store, and click your name to access your profile and account. Right, let's take a look at the main part, the dashboard widgets. Straight away, you can see there's a lot more information here. Here's the chart of accounts watch list. Looks pretty similar. You can show or hide budgets. And you'll be able to edit your budgets. I'm guessing this will open up the budget manager. If your business uses zero expenses to manage staff expense claims, this is useful. You see all the expense claims that need reviewing. That will just be for those staff with the permissions to approve expense claims. Oh, I like this. Really nice to see your profit and loss for a period. Every business should know how profitable it is. This is super useful. And you can change the period. Great. The cash in and out chart is similar to what we have already. Recent invoice payments. This is a handy new widget. Really useful to quickly see who's paid you recently. And you can manage your automatic invoice reminders and online payments here as well. 
This task widget looks very useful. You can see at a glance what you need to do. Reconcile some transactions, chase up some customers who haven't paid, approve some invoices or bills. This is very nice. It makes it a lot easier to keep on top of your work. Invoices owed to you and bills to pay look similar. And you've got your bank accounts at the top. Same as before, you can customize your dashboard. This is limited in the prototype, but you'll be able to remove widgets you don't want to see. And you can add widgets. Ooh, very excited to see what you can add. And you can move things around. I really like it. From what I can see, you're not losing any functionality and the way you interact with the dashboard will be the same, so it won't cause any disruption. And there are some really nice additions. Quick access to settings, I think that's really handy. Tasks, recent invoice payments and the profit or loss. And it feels new and fresh. I'm looking forward to seeing this one once it's released and taking it for a proper test drive. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.